Stealing the blinds in Texas Hold'em poker is a common strategy for players with at least some experience. It's basically when a player raises pre-flop in order to win the blinds without a flop. In fact, stealing the blinds is one of the more fundamental aspects of Texas Hold'em because it goes hand in hand with the force blinds that rotate every round, the random hands that are likely in the blinds, and position plays post-flop that actually create a disadvantage for calling steal attempts. This all tends to create more action around the button area, especially when all early position players have folded. There is no rule regarding stealing, although in most other cases in real life, stealing is not a good thing. Like this clever character who tried to steal the World Cup of Soccer. Well, stealing is not only common in poker, but an integral part of the game that will require you to make skillful decisions in either situation, whether that be you are stealing yourself or defending the blinds. As mentioned, all this usually takes place near the button when most players have already folded, like here, where the cutoff position decides to raise, apparently to steal the blinds. Now, with only three players left to act behind him, he could very well assume that they all have random or weak hands that they can't call a raise with. Therefore, it is common practice to steal from late position with a much wider range of hands. This becomes even more clear when, after a flop, if you call a raise from the blinds, you're actually out of position because your opponent gets to act after you. So if you miss the flop and check, he could still really just have anything and take the pot down right there. Even with a decent starting hand like, say, ace-jack offsuit, if you decide to bet out, you are actually turning this hand into a risky situation that could result in a big pot where you have nothing, really. So if you are the one doing the stealing, consistently making a continuation bet will win the pot often enough to make it a profitable bet, no matter what the flop is. Avoid traps by managing your bets and the pot size so you're not pot committed to weak situations. And before you steal, you should have an idea of what type of player you are stealing from and if his stack size might be inclined to re-raise you. One thing you should know about Texas Hold'em is that playing from the blinds is a money-losing situation. It's better to have the disposition of trying to keep your losses to a minimum rather than seeking to engage in controversial plays against those aggravating blind stealers. Although folding can be difficult, usually this is the best play in the blinds, rather than turning your hand into an expensive bluff. If you think you are ahead pre-flop, then re-raise pre-flop or trap the stealer into making a c-bet where you can then check-raise. The idea is to not steal too much, nor give up your blinds too much either. You can't be so obvious to make a steal attempt every time because eventually somebody is just going to stand up and knock you down. If you want to see more poker video tutorials, visit The Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.